it's, it's a dream come true because um, you know playing in the sun without without boots you know and now I find myself here you know playing in the Premier League one of the best league in the world I will say this I'm, I'm, I'm very proud and I'm very happy for what I've achieved in my life. He was a point of debate a few months ago as to whether he will be donning the national colors of his country and perhaps kick a ball at the 2022 World Cup, which is just a few days away. Something those who wish well for him wish to see. Well, a glance at his profile at club site Southampton makes it so difficult for the Ghana Football Association and coach Otuado to ignore his quality. So here we are at Asawasi constituency, specifically New Zongo, to engage the people who have seen the Southampton star crawl, talk and perhaps play. Mohamed Salisu's father believes the name Salisu he gave to his son is what is having an effect on him. When he was a kid, he loved football. He was named after a Kotoko legend called Salisu, who was a great player during his days. When he was younger, his love and passion for football even made him sit out of class. I believe the name is having an effect on him. Education in the Ghanaian society is a cherished act and every child of school going age is expected to be in class. But Salisu's passion and zeal for football stole his concentration at the age of five. I want him to go to school when he was young because even if you're a good player, education will help refine you. When he became a successful player, we laugh at each other to remember him of those days when I told him, go to school, and he will respond by saying, go to school as well. The Salis who likes football a lot, he even abandoned school to go and play football. One thing about Salisu is, Salisu is playing U17 at that time, he's at U15. And then he had the potential, he played well, and then Wafa came in. He went to Wafa, one, two, three days, they told us that this guy is a big product, they like him. So Salisu's achievement is from his roots. The time that we were here, his mother used to kill him in the park and just drag him. And she was saying, ah, didn't they ask him to go to the school? Oh, then she just slapped him from left to the right. We were standing here and begging and saying, oh my, young kuri, young kuri, young kuri. And she just, and she just leave him go. At an early age, the famous feeling Gary Park was his home and did it without erring. Anyone who has an insight into this game can tell from the one that Salisu is destined for greatness. You see, you, you ask Salisu to report to training at 3 o'clock. By 2 o'clock, he's already here. From day one, so I, I am not surprised at all. I I took took him from his early age, so I know what Salisu is capable of doing. So I'm not surprised at all of his performance. We've known Salisu since our childhood. I quite remember when we were all playing at the coast level. If you have to play a match and we had to camp, we'll be together in a room. Salisu is a great fan of Shatawali. He has this little um, Bluetooth device. He will sing Shatawali song the whole night in the morning in a bus going to the pitch, Shatawali. So when he gets to the field and then you see him play, I don't know whether it is the song that motivates or incites him, but you could see that this guy is great. More especially, even if you are winning and we consider goal, you look at a guy's face and you see his reaction, you could see that this is a guy who passionately wants the game and wants the welfare of the team. So we are not surprised seeing him play there and then getting the best clearance, defender, whatever. It is something we've seen him right from childhood doing. So what he's doing now, we are not very much amazed. We just know that the fruit of his labor is now manifesting. The struggle for stardom cannot be inevitable as the young Salisu would have to risk staying away from home for more than six months in order to draw near to his dream. He just left a uh, uh, waffle to uh, what you call it, uh, African talent. But no, before uh, African talent, he just went to the uh, team. 
Uh, one team, I think, I think it is at in Sowom. He just went there and slept there for almost six months. The time that he came back, if he just sees his body, he will be maybe uh, pity for him. Because mosquito has just bit his, his body. You can't just, just look at him. Uh -huh. So Solis has suffered a lot. Before just be, I, I mean I mean before getting this chance and move to Southampton. But after a few years of playing at Ghanaian side Wafa, a flight to Spain meant Salisu's dream was now becoming a reality and he didn't miss the real value lead opportunity to shine to attract EPL side Southampton. We have made a lot of transfers, a lot of transfers, we have produced a lot of qualities, and then he also is amount of them. We got a uh, Nasiru. Banahini, he, he played for Liberty before. Right now he's playing at uh, uh, this place, Finland, and then Sadat also. We have a lot of them. We have a, a lot of them. Yeah. But Salisu is our biggest distance because he's playing at the bigger, higher level than them. He's playing with Southampton right now. Yeah. Hold, hold. Defenders, and there's the goal. And Mohamed Salisu has his first goal. Came in from the right low, not dealt with. And he's just side-footed it in the big Ghanaian. With this new feat of playing week in, week out, one thing was always going to be constant. A national team call-up, but the surrounding stars post meant he wasn't ready then. An opinion that divided the views of many Ghanaians. But what was the real truth? Salisu doesn't abandon Ghana. Not at all. He went to Sandantim with injury. At that time that he started playing, there is a call up. Then he committed with us, and then we told him he must be patient. He must be healed before he will come. So we talked to them because he is our is our son. We talked to them, but he's willing to play. It. Not he has abandoned it. Not at all. With all the accusations of not wanting to play for the Black Stars squashed, making his debut against Brazil and Nicaragua in friendly matches last month, many believe. This is the time to benefit from him. Salisu must be an integral member on the Black Star. He must be. Because when you see his played, Salisu has matured a lot. He, he has matured a lot. So, me as for me, or the way that I see it, the coach must to start with him. Salisu will bring stability at the back there. In Salisu, Ghana has a, a reliable defender. No two ways about that. What I know about Salisu is going to manifest at the World Cup. Yes, as for that one, I'm very certain. He can, he can, he can do it well, inshallah. Because if you see his performance against, against Brazil, he have done well. And that was his first match uh -huh, in Blasters. Uh, so we wish him good, good luck. Now in coach Otto scored for the 2022 World Cup, it means Ghana's defence will look invincible once more. With the world keenly keeping an eye on what the Black Stars could offer in Qatar, Mohamed Salisu is one of the few players many would be looking for to help end Africa's semi-final struggle. With all of this said and done, family, fans and all Ghanaians hope to see a replication of Salisu's excellent form for Southampton in the EPL this season for the Black Stars at the Mundial. I wish him good luck and injury free. I wish him, I think he can play it well as he believes it at Southampton. What we all want to him to have a successful tournament to get a bigger team in search of something like Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan. I want him to be at Arsenal. Yeah. So, uh, like Chelsea or something else. Yeah. With a melt in the earlier decision by the Southampton star of not playing for the Blasters, many around Sabu Zongo have said. It's a perfect decision that have come at the right time. We just feel this from kicking off at the World Cup. Victor Kwao, Metro TV, Sabazungu.